As India steps into its new future and takes its place as a global power, it has sought to revolutionize the way that healthcare is delivered to its citizens. Over the recent years, under the able leadership of Shri Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India, the country has seen a tremendous growth in programs and efforts that have positively impacted public health care. And a key focus area has been to improve the lives of those with cancer. For those who are battling cancer, highly specialized treatment is often necessary and thus to help them, the National Cancer Institute or NCI in Ames Jajjar Haryana was envisioned by the Government of India. The vision for this campus was to have a state-of-the-art cancer hospital uh, which is focusing not only on high-end patient care but also on research and academic activities. This is a large 700-bedded hospital. It has uh, 25 uh, state-of-the-art uh, operation theatres and it has a huge faculty of more than 2,000 uh, uh, members so that we are able to address the needs of the nation whether it be prevention of cancer, early diagnosis or treatment for cancer. As the centre became operational and scaled its services to patients, its efforts soon caught the eye of the Infosys Foundation, which shared the Prime Minister's vision of transforming healthcare across India in a holistic manner. Now this is a 1.4 billion people country. This is the duty of the non-profit organisation, which should help government facility like AIMS, where expert doctors are available, Treatment is available, but accommodation is not available. That made me to think of a place where patient can rest in the night. So uh, we decided we should build something for the patient and their relatives. The Vishram Sadhan or rest house was envisioned by the Infosys Foundation as an 800 bedded facility for patients and their attenders. Spread across 25,000 square meters, this multi-storied building would house a common dining facility, pharmacy and utility shops. But most importantly, it would house five floors of dormitories and three floors of private rooms. This facility would be of immense benefit for underprivileged patients and their attenders who often came from distant places for treatment. It would also help create a safe living environment for patients who are immunocompromised. Thus, the Infosys Foundation Vishram Sadhan fit perfectly into the aim of the government to tackle cancer and make treatment affordable to all. With the building completed, patients can be accommodated safely and comfortably. They now have a stronger footing to take on their battle with cancer. A battle where the Infosys Foundation stands with them in every step of the way.